What's up guys? Welcome back. It's another beautiful day with your boy Moose here. Today's video we are going to be removing the running boards off of the truck. Um, in my last video, if you guys saw, I went off-roading and I actually smashed the passenger side one in pretty bad. Um, so we're actually going to be removing them because a smashed in running board just doesn't look good when you're rolling down the street. Um, to some it says, oh yeah, he takes his truck off-roading or he actually does some stuff in his truck, but I personally don't like the way it looks, so we're going to get those removed. I also think it'll give the truck a lot higher of a ground clearance look. For, so for those of you that want to do this to get that higher, you know, want to see what it looks like with the higher clearance look, this will be the perfect video for you. And it'll show you how to take them off um, so if that you want to replace yours or whatnot, you can see exactly how um, I'm going to go over what socket sizes you need or any of the other tools you need to get this uh, to get these removed. So let's get started. All right, so basically all you're really going to need for this is you're going to need your ratchet and then you're going to need a 13 millimeter long and a 13 millimeter short. Um, there are a couple spots up on the top. I'll show you guys that it gets kind of tight. So having the shorter one is going to be a lot of help. And then there's a spot where you're going to need the longer one just because the um, bolt itself is tucked up pretty high up in there. So let's get going. All right, so we're underneath here, and we've got these um, arms here, um, and then there's the where you're gonna need the, the long bolt, the long socket for, and that's where you're gonna need the short socket for, just because it gets really tight up here with your hands and whatnot. Um, now there are three of these arms that hold the running boards on, and that's what you're removing, is you're removing all three of these running, or these uh, arms that hold these running boards. So you got one here, uh, one down here, and obviously the back one here. So we'll get those removed, and it uh, should be pretty quick. Shouldn't take too long, so. All right, so after undoing the first set of bolts for the running boards, I found that I do did need an extension, so I did grab one. I've also got a few extra here just in case I do need to extend it a little bit further. And I did miss it um, in the tight, since I was kind of under there, I, didn't, I must have missed it or didn't notice it, but there are actual four spots that you have to remove all the bolts from, but it should just be these two bolts and it should come off super easy, super quick. Well, we are almost there. Everything's coming along nice and smooth. Um, as the weight does come down, I do recommend that you support the one side so it's kind of balanced. That way you're not putting a ton of tension on the screw. So I'm gonna actually get this side supported um, while I take this, uh, the rest of it off. Um, that way, you know, you don't have a bunch of tension on the screws and uh, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. So just hold it with your right hand, that's what I'm doing, and then with my left hand, I'm getting up under here and just gonna un hand undo this. It looked like they were hooks that you could just push it up and kind of lift it off, but it's being difficult, so it's not gonna work. But we're gonna, there we go. And that's gonna keep it from falling on my face. All right, guys, so we got the first one off. Pretty excited, came off pretty easy. Don't mind the way it looks. Now it's time to get off the smashed one. And that's the one I'm the most worried about for the simple fact that it's smashed in. I wasn't kidding, like when I said I smashed this thing in, I smashed this thing in. So as you can see, we have the separation from the bolt that you don't even have to normally worry about taking out um, and the running board. And you can kind of see the gap between the truck and the running board start to get bigger and more level as you go toward the front but it's, it's all smashed in. So we're gonna get this one removed. It's probably gonna take me a minute, but so far that first side only took me about 20, 30 minutes, if that, once I had all the right tools. And like I said, you're gonna need um, your 13 millimeter. 
uh, if that's how you're doing it. And I think it's, I honestly don't know the conversion into the, the fraction side of the house. But, um, so they came out super easy, super fast. It didn't take long, um, but yeah, about 30 minutes. And I did have to kind of swap extensions on this front one here, if I could show you guys. There's um, that plastic, this plastic tubing here for electrical or whatever that you have to almost go up behind here and go around it to get that last bolt undone. It's kind of a pain. I'm sure you guys kind of noticed it in the time lapse, but with the right extension, you should be able to get up in there. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit better close up. As you can see, that's where it tore out from the initial smash. And then as you can kind of see as we go down, that one's at like a 45 degree angle. So is that one, so is that one. And this thing's just honestly beat. So we're gonna get it removed. Yes, I did use a Coleman cooler to hold it up. Um, we finally got it off. You can kind of see even more now how mashed up these pieces were from when I went off-roading. Just really, I mean, like I had to take this one piece completely off because it was just messed up. The black cover on it's all messed up. Um, the metal is all bent. As you can see, that should be straight, but it's not. Um, yeah, I really did a number on these running boards and so that's why we're getting rid of them. Hopefully my passengers who climb in and out of my vehicle will complain too much. All right, so we're all done getting them all removed. Just got the garage all cleaned up. So now we're gonna head down to the car wash, get the truck cleaned up because before I show you what it looks like without the running boards, um, the, the, full, the full Shazam, the full, the full thing, um, I wanna make sure it's cleaned up, looking good and uh, don't mind some of the scratches if you can see them because that was from once again my last video guys make sure to go check that out it was one heck of an experience let's go get the truck all cleaned up and i'll show you what she looks like without her running boards on all right guys so we just got the truck all washed up she's looking real good and uh, I'm gonna get some footage of what she looks like without her running boards on. Super stoked, really liking the way it looked. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Always remember guys, take what you can, give nothing back. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and we will see you guys on the next one. Now, bring me that horizon. I'll make you regret it! Mom!